Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to be playing some more Genshin Impact. So, last time we left off, we were doing the event, the, the whatchamacallit event, the, 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 a balance and bruise. I want to start off by apologizing, I am so sorry guys, I didn't finish it, I thought I had more time than I did. I, I thought the event ended like Monday afternoon, but it actually ended, I think it was like Monday at like 3 a.m., and so I wasn't able to record the rest of the event. I am so sorry. I feel so bad. I completely, like I said, I've been trying to play catch up and my time has been off and everything, but no excuses. I'm just, I'm really sorry, guys. I, I hope you can forgive me for that. I completely messed that up. So I'm going to give you just a quick summary of basically what happened because I did do the event on my personal account like weeks ago. So basically all we missed out on is, um... The Traveler and Razor went around and talked to a bunch of different people. They, like, talked to Rosaria, and she gave some very insightful stuff about family, some information, you know, about herself and her backstory, and gave Razor an item to help make the the wine and everything. And then we were able to talk to... I'm trying to remember who else there was. There was, um... We ran into uh, Diona at some point. We get to talk to her. I know this is a really bad summary, but I, like I said, this was weeks ago that I did it. It was before I even got sick or anything. But... Basically, we went around, we got all the items for all the people. It was really cute story, some backstory sure, from everybody. I'll play you another tune. And then basically the day apple. of the actual event and everything, where the Animo God is supposed to bless us and everything, Venti made a little like breeze pass through and basically, you know, to let us all know that Barbados blessed us and whatnot. It was just a really sweet little thing and whatnot. But basically, if you want to look it up, you could probably find other YouTubers who have uh, done the event and everything and actually shown the whole event and whatnot and again i really apologize for it it was a really cute event and i really wanted to show you guys it because the story for it was really good and since i love razor so much i was really excited to show you but it just kind of fell through with the planning and everything and again i really do apologize for that i'll try to be more careful about that in the future but yeah so kind of get that out of the way um this episode is going to be a bit special because it is our 100th episode yay i can't believe we're already at 100 episodes in and i haven't even done any zuma yet i really need to get on that because <laughs> we kind of been putting that off for a little while but for our 100th episode this is going to be a little bit different it's going to be a slightly longer episode i'm thinking maybe like an hour long i don't know yet we might go longer might go a little shorter it just kind of depends on what we're doing but I did think this would be a good time to kind of play catch up since, you know, I'm playing catch up in real life. I thought, you know what, let's do it in game. So we're going to go ahead and do our dailies and stuff first. But then after that, we are going to catch up on a lot of our, um, I don't really think we have to catch up on too many of these because these quests kind of don't matter. They're just a lot of them are just random like world ones. We might do a few of them. The ones that give primo gems and whatnot, just because those will be a little more interesting ones. But what I mainly want to focus on is we have a truckload of character stories that we have just been putting off. Let's see, because we can do all the way up until we get to the um, the Inazuma characters. Well, we're not even Adventure Rank 40 yet, technically. I think we're only, like, level 35, so we can technically only go up to... Wow, we can only do the first two? No, I'm higher than 35, aren't I? What level am I? Oh, I am only 35. Huh. You know, okay, we might do that today, too. We might increase that level so we could do more of the story quests, because that'd be kind of stupid. I plan to do the story quests the whole episode, but we were only able to go up, like, do these two. That'd be really stupid. But yeah, I think we're going to do a bunch of the story quests and get these out of the way. One, because this will give us some backstory on a lot of the characters we've already met on our journey, but also because they get pretty good rewards and they're kind of fun and we need to get some of them done. Again, we might also do some of these, too, just because... Mainly the ones that give Primo Gems, just because some of the ones that do Primo Gems are a little bit more interesting. And we might do some grinding, we might do... It'll just be kind of a fun, random episode where we'll just play catch-up and kind of clean up some of the stuff that we've been putting off to focus on story stuff. So, yeah. Bit different of an episode, but it's our special 100th episode, so I figured, you know what, let's have some fun with it. So, yeah. Remember to like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get playing. Okay, so our first daily is going to be over here. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, again, I'm really sorry about messing up the timing on that event. I don't know why, but for some reason, because I, like, it gives you a timer on events and stuff, like how long they're good for and everything. And for some reason, I thought I had until Monday afternoon. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just record Monday, right? I was just like, because I kind of took the weekend off to recover and everything because I was still feeling a little under the weather and whatnot whenever I was recording all this. And so it was like, oh, yeah, I'll just do it then. But then I was like, Sunday, 
I was like Sunday afternoon. I looked and it was just like, uh, the event's ending in like five or six hours. And I was like, wait a minute, what? And so I didn't get a chance to record. And so it just really just fell through. And I'm again, really sorry for that. I'll try to be more careful about that in the future. Like I said, I've just been playing a lot of catch up lately with everything because my, I had a backlog of like, I usually try to keep a backlog of about two to three weeks worth of videos, give or take. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Especially around the holidays, I try to always make sure I have some videos backed up just in case something goes wrong or I need to take extra time off to be with, like, family or to travel or whatnot. And so what ended up happening was, because I got sick around the 1st of October, and so what ended up happening was um, I had a backlog, and about two weeks before... Why am I walking over that way? I can just teleport. Um, And about two weeks before the end of September, I think... What the heck? Why are there... Okay, it's telling me to go that way, but also... Okay, I'm very confused on which one I selected next. I'll go to this one. Anyways, um... Unless, was that not... No, I did the daily... I'm very confused why... I think it's because I was... T that was weird. He... Oh, I was, like, tapping the X button like crazy, and he's like, he's not gliding! I'm gonna die! Um... And so basically, about two weeks before the end of September, I was doing some, like, renovation stuff, you know, painting, redoing cabinets, stuff like that in my house. And so I was using my backlog for that so I could take, like, a, you know, a couple of days to focus on just doing that around the house and everything, you know, getting that work done and whatnot. And so I, my backlog got down to only, like, one week ahead, which was fine because I planned on catching up, you know, around the beginning of October. Well, then I got sick and it was like, okay, my backlog just got drained and I ended up not having anything. As you guys know, there was one week where there was no videos because of that. And so it's like I've been playing catch up like crazy, trying to catch up on recordings, trying to get slightly ahead, especially with all the holidays coming up and everything. So, again, I know it probably just sounds like excuses and everything. And I don't like making excuses. I, you know, need to own up to the fact that I just made a mistake. I'm trying to remember. Um... There's three specific ones that are good and two that are bad. I think this might be one of the good ones. Um, let me see. Okay, I believe this one's a good one. And I think the other good one is... I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, sweet. I did pick the right ones. Cool. Makes it go a lot faster whenever you pick the right ones. Otherwise, they get mad or like, or they uh, get overexcited and you have to fight them and everything. It's weird. But yeah, so basically, I'm I'm finally starting to catch up and I'm getting slightly ahead again, which is good. I've had to make some changes to my scheduling and everything, and to what games I'm doing and whatnot, or how often I'm uploading them or anything. So I apologize if things are a little weird in the upcoming days and everything, like the upcoming videos and whatnot, they might be a little off, or there might only be one whenever there's usually two, or there might all of a sudden be two of series that there weren't, but it's, it's kind of all over the place because I'm trying to get things situated. So kind of bear with me. You guys have been really nice about it so far, and I really appreciate your guys' patience with me. I, I, I'm still pretty new to doing the whole YouTube thing, and so I'm just kind of, I'm trying to get it all figured out, and this is my first time since I started doing YouTube that I've been like that sick where I just couldn't record. Oh, I haven't done these two in a while. Yeah, they want me to go fight some Hillatrails, I think. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm really excited. There's going to be a new series. Let's see. This goes up on... Does this go up? Okay, this should be going up after the new series already comes out. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'm not going to say what it is just in case this for some reason does go up before the other one. I don't think it should, but it's just in case. But I'm really excited for the new series that's going to be starting. It's a game that I've been really... At first I wasn't that excited for it because I'd never played many in the series. But now I'm like super excited for it but after seeing gameplay for it and everything and how it's going to play. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it too. And that's kind of all I'm going to say on that because like I said, just in case this does happen to go up before the new series comes out, I don't want to you know, spoil it. Wow, okay, this is like a monsoon. What the heck? It wasn't just like a little drizzle, it just like downpoured out of nowhere. And now it just like stopped? <laughs> okay. 
Where? I hear the rain, but there's no rain effects. Oh, there's a treasure chest back here. I never noticed this before. What a find! Okay, let's get out of here, because that guy's gonna try to attack us. Okay, we can just go over this way. There we go. Would it gliding be faster? Wish, wish, wish. Huh. Yeah, I can't believe we're already a hundred episodes into this. It feels like I've just... I mean, I know it doesn't... I don't mean like it feels like I just started. I was about to say it feels like I just started. I was like, well, no, it really doesn't. It does feel like we've been doing Genshin for a while because we're pretty far into it. But also, it doesn't feel like we should be a hundred episodes in. It feels more like we should only be like 50 episodes in or something. It's crazy how fast time flies, you know? Considering this was... Well, actually, I think this was the first game that I did for the channel, I think. My first video was on Genshin, which, you know, was technically kind of late into the Genshin scene because, um, I started about a year after Genshin came out, I believe it was. I, will I just really order. love this game, and I know there's a lot of, you know, controversy around the game right now in the sense of basically, you know, the community is a bit divided on stuff, If you, especially if you go to Twitter. The community on YouTube for Genshin is actually really nice, and I like interacting with you guys about Genshin and everything. It's a lot of fun. Some but, like, if you go to Twitter or something, names, the Genshin me, community over there is, like, the almost it violent. It's kind of scary. Bestowed my powers upon me. Okay, Oz, why are you talking so much, buddy? Uh, no, I was trying to pull up on my map. Thank you. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I started kind of late into the Genshin scene, but I just, I really love this game, despite, you know, it does have its shortcomings, don't get me wrong, but I really love this game. And what's hilarious is whenever it first came out, I actually wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, because I was watching some gameplay of it from the beta testers commitment. that they had posted and everything. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'd like this game, because it looks kind of cheesy, or it looks like, oh, it doesn't look, looks too much like a mobile game or something, like a game that I wouldn't play or whatnot. And it's just like, I'm so glad I gave it a chance, because I absolutely love this game. I probably ought to increase my world level just because then I can uh, send more characters on expeditions too, which will get me more stuff. Okay, so there's our dailies out of the way. Your battle pass stuff, even though I haven't been doing that as much as I should be. Okay. So we got that all out of the way. Um, what do we want to do first? Okay. So we got a handful of stuff we can do. I probably should have... Dang it, I didn't even think about this, but I should have um, done this first. Well, actually, you know what? I can't unlock those until... I was about to say, I'll just go unlock a bunch of these, but you can't. I should have waited to do the dailies. I should have spent the key, did the dailies, and then... Yeah, oh well. So that was a bit of a waste, but oh well. Okay, so now we can do that. Um, humana, 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 humana. Okay, so we got this, but I don't really know if I want to go treasure hunting. Um, we've got a land entombed. Head for the secret chamber. Okay, that's... Oh, that's the dragon spine one that we were having issues with. Like, I couldn't remember where all the things we that we were supposed to unlock. That might be more of a pain in the butt. Um, okay, that's the adventure rank ascension. I'm surprised I haven't done that one yet. Oh, that's the one where I gotta do the puzzle. Yeah, we could always do the puzzles. I don't know what that one is. And then these are for the events that are going on right now, but I don't really... <sighs> I probably should be doing events, but... Well, actually, the exploding population, that's just the fishing thing that we never finished. Um, okay, you know what? Maybe we'll start off by doing some bounties. I haven't shown you guys those yet, and we are needing uh, more reputation in order to get the, um, whatchamacallit, to get the NRE so that way we can heal up during combat, which would be very useful. But claim our world exploration points. I have done, like, no Mondstadt quests. I haven't even done, a, I've done, like, maybe a third of them. Wow. So, yeah, see, we need to get to, no, that's food. The NRE is at level five. Okay, we don't really need the portable waypoints are nice, but they're not, like, necessary. So we only have to get to level 5, and we're almost at level 4. So we're actually not that far off from getting the NRE. So yeah, we well, let's go ahead and maybe try some bounties. I always do the 100 bounties, because I don't really see a point in doing the lesser bounties, especially because you're only allowed to do 3 a week, so it'd be kind of stupid, in my opinion, to not do the highest level one. Okay, so the special traits. It doesn't take damage from Hydro or Animo, 
but it takes increased damage from electro and plunging attacks. That'll be awesome. Razor and Fischl will be able to, like, destroy this thing. Okay, so the way bounties work, you're only allowed to claim one at a time. Which is fine. I mean, it's a little an annoying because, you know, you gotta keep coming back over and over again, but, oh well, you deal with it. And so basically what you do is you go to the marked area on the map. And a timer starts as soon as you enter into this area, so you got 10 minutes once you start. And basically you need to use your elemental sight. And you follow the trail and everything, and you gotta find clues, basically. You have to find three clues, and then the bounty target will appear. So it's not too difficult. I mean, sometimes it's a little annoying in, like, these mountainous areas because the, the trail goes through mountains, and sometimes you gotta figure out, do you need to go up the mountain, down the mountain, or on the other side of the mountain? Generally, you can tell because it'll be, like, at a slight angle, usually. Oh, that's the target. So this is... So sometimes the bounty, uh, the evidence for the bounty, it'll be stuff like actual creatures that you have to take out or whatnot. Or sometimes it'll be, uh whatchamacallit. It'll be like just a flower you have to pick up or see, so there. So that's one. I prefer the ones where it's just a uh, pick up an item because then you don't have to find a bunch of stuff. You can just run by, grab the item, and keep going. Good, good. You can't activate that well in there. And of course, it's going to be another Whopper flower, isn't it? Dang it. Why are they all combat ones? Usually I get ones that are mostly like, pick up this flower, or, oh, pick up this piece of ore. Interesting. Come here, you. I think it's annoying too, because the Whopper flowers take more hits. Stupid hella trail. Out of my face. Okay. Yeah, usually I get, like, if I have enemies, I usually get slimes. The Whopper flowers are annoying because they take so many hits to go down. But yeah, this is basically how bounties work. You just go around, you get the three evidence pieces, and then the bounty target will appear, and you do have a timer for defeating him, too. That timer stays up. It's not just for finding clues. It's basically for the whole mission. You got a ten-minute timer. Um, oh, sweet. Just pick up the mushrooms. Okay, I found enough. Now use your elemental sight to search for the target in the area. Okay, so it looks like it's over this way. And there it is. See, piece of cake. Oh, come on. I, I should have hit that. Okay, fine. Chongli, drop a rock. And Electro is supposed to do big damage. Yeah, it's doing okay damage. Plunging attacks are also supposed to do big damage and everything. I could probably do one, actually, if I climb up the pillar. Yeah, it didn't do that much more damage. Uh-oh. Okay, looks like the eyeball reset. Oh, come on. Back up, Fischl. Fischl, back up. Uh-oh. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Face me. And my aim is off, dude. What is with my aim today? Okay, that should have hit. Uh-oh, official, 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 official! What are you doing? What was that about? She just, like, stopped moving. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna smash him. Order guide you. Oh, that was weird. He, like, reset himself. Come on. Okay, usually these guys aren't this hard. This is weird. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Okay, I never have this much issue hitting their things. Oh, there he goes down. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> that was, like, way worse than it should have been. Okay, so that's one bounty done. 
Hopefully the next one goes a bit better. I like it whenever they're like weak to like claymores or stuff like that because then I can just like wail on them and get them down real fast. Whenever they're weak, like just have a uh, lowered elemental resistance, sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad. At least for me anyways. That bounty's done. Next bounty. Takes increased crit damage, but doesn't take damage from pyro or animo. Yeah, we can probably do this one. There we go. This next one is located down here. Awesome, this one's usually pretty easy to find. Because it's a big open area, unlike that other one which was all mountainous and everything, this one's all pretty much down low. I say that as it looks like the evidence is up on that cliff over there, dang it. I've never had it appear up there before, that's interesting. I've usually always had it appear down by the water. Oh. So, so far, pretty fun for our 100th episode, right? Kind of doing stuff different, stuff we haven't done before. Let's see. I know, I had a bunch of stuff planned for the 100th episode. Like, I was wanting to do some sort of... Originally, I was supposed to do that last event, actually, for the 100th episode. It was supposed to be... Like, the way my recording schedule was going to work out is it was going to be perfect for... Like, it was going to line up just right with the 100th episode where I was going to be able to do the event all in one sitting. But it just totally, the scheduling got all off and everything. The stupid, the stupid disease that, you know, YouTube doesn't like people talking about. It totally screwed everything up. Luckily, I am one of the lucky ones who I have been recovering pretty well from it. So I am lucky in that aspect. And I'm very grateful for being lucky with that. Especially, like I said, my uh, smell and my taste have pretty much come back. It's still a little off, but it's about, I would say, like... 80-85% back, which I am so grateful for because um, I know some people who theirs, they got it like a year ago and it still hasn't come back yet fully. And I know some people who got it like two years ago and theirs is back, but it's like all messed up to where stuff doesn't taste or smell like it should. So I am definitely one of the lucky ones and I'm very grateful for that. And again, I do- okay, why can't I- hello? That was weird. And I am very grateful to you guys again. I do appreciate the well wishes and everything really meant a lot to me and everything. So I, I do appreciate you guys so much and I hope you realize just how much I do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome and it's so nice and everything. You know, enjoy interacting with all of you. Oh great, it's one of these guys. Ugh. These are the harder ones. Okay, Animo does zero damage to it. Yeah, see, it did nothing. That should get me enough energy to drop this a rock. Is order. Which does good damage. We do do increased crit, so I'm hoping that Razor will get some good crits off. Don't know how many... I don't think Razor's crit rate is that high, though. I need to work on that. Crit damage is very important. <laughs> Ooh, Razor just got smacked in the face. Solidify. Okay, let's see. Drop that. Drop the rock. I will have order. Yes, you will. Yeah, I think Zhang Li has higher crits. So maybe I should have been using his stuff more, right? Oh, nope. Never mind. That went better than the other one. And the other one was supposed to have an electric, pro like, would not be able to resist electro, so that's, like, really stupid. That the one that the only thing that it, um, that made it weaker was that it, like, took more crit damage. And I don't even have high crit rate, so... Wouldn't gliding be faster? That's just weird. Okay, so turn this in. There we go. Sweet, we're now reputation four. And we can do one more. Okay, doesn't take damage from Electro or Geo. Well, that totally screws us over. But it takes crit damage more easily and greatly increased damage from plunging attacks. This one's not going to be fun. Because basically it resists both Zhongli, Razor, and Fischl. It resists, like, everyone. And I don't think I have anyone that would be good for this. I mean, I could bring Bennett, but... I haven't really been leveling up. I really need to level up more characters. 
that's something I thought about doing for the 100th episode, too. I thought about doing, like, just a big grind fest, which we might still do that, too. We might do a bunch of spend our resin for the day. We'll continue with the characters we have now. They just might not do the most damage. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Of course it's up. Why do they always like to be up high where I gotta go around and climb? I don't want to fight that stupid boar. It's going to charge me the second it sees me. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be really high up. That's going to be annoying. Sorry, that was weird. It was like it felt like something was pushing my chair, but I thought it was my dog, but I'm like, there's nothing there. That, that was kind of creepy. I'm a little weirded out by that. Oh, was that it? Uh, I don't know if the... No, I don't think the mint was it. No, it's this mushroom right here. Yeah, there we go. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Um, oh, no, I was trying to... close the menu, but I was trying to move the camera at the same time. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go down. Better not be another one up there again. Where is this thing? Weird place, but okay. Okay, good. It looks like it's not up. I was about to say, if it makes me go up there again, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, it's not this mint, but I'm going to grab it. Da -da -da. Ah, here it is. Here we go. Now we just got to find the thing. Great. It's up on the hill, isn't it? <sighs> Why do they like making me go up the stupid hill over and over again? I like the bounties that take place in like a flat land area. Much easier. Okay, let's see. Where are you at? Oh, there. <laughs> okay, so Oz isn't going to do any damage to it. But Fischl hits really hard still, which is good. I'm gonna put his pillar up even though it's not gonna do any damage. And it says it takes crit damage more easily, so does that mean our crit rate was increased, or is our crit damage increased? Venti can do damage though, so maybe we'll at least do this just for a little bit of extra stuff. Just don't hit it with Electro, because that would totally screw us over. I mean, I could still petrify it with Zhongli's uh, rock in order to basically hold it still so we can hit it. And technically, Razor's uh, burst also, it increases the attack speed, and it doesn't coat his weapon necessarily in Electro. So it would help to technically. Oh, sorry, excuse me. So see, this is going to do no damage, but it is going to freeze him. And this is going to do... Yeah, the electric part doesn't do damage, but we get the attack speed bonus. So see, it still kind of works out. So that's just a little tip that basically I kind of figured out a long, long time ago. Is that Razor's Burst, unlike a lot of- oh dear. I need food. See, this is why we need the NRE so we can do this during combat. Uh, I taste blood. Um, is that basically Razor's Burst, unlike a lot of other characters' bursts, you know, like, uh, oh, I can't even think of anybody off the top of my head. But a lot of character, their burst um, makes it to where they coat their weapon in their element and everything. Razor's, though, is technically his wolf is considered a separate hit from his regular weapon. And so he does both physical damage and electro damage. And so basically, even if you're against an enemy who resists electro, um, using Razor's burst is actually still useful because of the fact that you get uh, an attack speed bonus. There we go. It looks like that's not, uh, the Oz, the little orb doing the shots too. It looks like it's not doing electro damage. It's doing just physical damage. That's useful. Cool. So that wasn't too bad considering it completely resisted like my entire team. Wish. So there we go. We did our bounties. Like I said, bounties are like, they're generally really easy. It just sucks you can only do three a week. So, you know, only able to get so far with your reputation levels. 
we also get three quests you can do, and you can only do three quests across all cities. Same with the bounties. It counts for all city reputations, where basically if I do two bounties in Mondstadt, I can only do one bounty for Leeway's reputation rewards. But right now, I really want all the Mondstadt stuff, so I'm going to do everything in Mondstadt. And these quests are usually really easy, where it's just like, oh, bring me some carrots, or bring me 12 chicken, or, you know, stuff like that. It's usually really easy. Kind of like just fetch quest stuff. So, let's see. Oh, I got an achievement. Or no, I didn't get an achievement. I got a name card. That's right. Oh, it's pretty. I actually really like that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, see, like... So, we need to... The ones we got were... Um, six servings of fowl. Monstat grilled fish. And ten sweet flowers. So, see, all really easy stuff. We're actually really close to Helen. Sorry, fish light. I don't want to hear you talk. <laughs> okay, so Helen should be... Oh, I remember this one now. Yeah, generally, these are... Uh, I believe the... The deliveries or the quests or whatever they're called. Wow, I did not mean to call it. I believe they're almost always the same. Yeah. I don't think they really change much. Okay, she wants sweet flowers to help her throat. There you go. So that's one done. Okay, the next one is... Brooke, who wants the servings of fowl? Oh, she's outside the city, though. Hopefully I have enough chicken. Luckily, I think both of these might be in Springville, I think. Run, Venti, run! And don't say gliding would be faster. I'm surprised he hasn't said it yet. Okay, Brooke wants the chicken. Well, bird, technically. I only Seriously, I only have one piece. Dang it. Okay. Where's some birds? Yeah, I think there's some pigeons over here, right? I mean, we could always go to Timmy and just destroy him. Yeah, I think it's faster to go over to Timmy. Sorry, Timmy, I need to kill your pigeons. I'm trying to think who would be the best character for doing this, because I can't get close to him. Oh, those are birds. Dang it. I just noticed those were birds right in front of me. You guys are probably screaming at me. Seriously, all that for only... No, well, I guess I got three. That's not bad. I only need, I think, two more, right? Because she needed six. No, birdie, don't fly away. Oh, Tim, good thing it's nighttime. Timmy's not here. She needs six servings of fowl, and I think I have five. Duck is fowl, right? That's bird. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. There we go, that should be six servings. Yeah, that kind of thing is a lot easier with a character like Ganyu or something. You know, the, um... Any of the characters that have a charge, like the special charged on their bow shots, so like Yalen, Ganyu, um, I think Yui Mia, I don't know if Yui Mia would work as well. But basically any of the characters who their charge shot does like a spread charge shot works really well for that, especially Ganyu specifically because she just rains death on him. Also Yalen because hers is just like a giant explosion. Okay, here you go, this should be six, yep. There you go, six legs. go. And she just faded out of existence. Okay, that was weird. She was just like, bye. See you later. Um, okay, and the last one is he's wanting the Mondstadt grilled fish. Let me make sure I even have that while I'm here next to a cooking thing. I don't have anything, any of them, so good thing I checked. The best cook for this job is... Ooh, okay, Barbara, whenever perfect cooking, might obtain double. Or Diona might give us a special dish when making it. Um, we want the regular one, so we're going to go with Barbara, so we might get two of them. And we didn't get two of them, but oh well. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
Wait, where's he at? I thought he was here. Oh no, he's like way over here. Um, yeah, this might actually be our closest bet. Rather go downhill than uphill, you know? Much easier. Oh, I love this song. This is what plays the, the main menu during nighttime and everything. It's so pretty. The soundtrack in this game is just gorgeous. Okay, buddy. You got your grilled fish. Oh, three servings. Uh-oh. Great. You guys are probably screaming at me. It said three servings, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep making mistakes like this? I need to read. Okay. I don't know if there's fish here. Okay, there's no fish here. I was hoping there was, but I know there's fish in Starfelt Lake, so I'll just grab those. Because I didn't have enough fish to make it. Okay, there should be fish here. And there we go. Lots of fish. Come here, fish. Thank you. I was like, don't tell me they got away. Yeah, that's plenty. I only needed two more anyways. Okay, um, there should actually be a cooking pot here. Yeah, right over here. Move out of the way. I need to use that. Okay, so I need two more. One. See, if Barbara would have gave us an extra one, we wouldn't have had to come back. Well, we would have still had to come back, but basically we wouldn't have had to go and get fish. So it's Barbara's fault, right? We'll just blame Barbara. <laughs> Whoosh. I know, I really need to do some more uh, farming and whatnot because I don't have... I've gotten better artifacts and everything and I've gotten some pretty good weapons and my characters are leveled up. But I need to level up more characters because right now I've only got basically four characters that are almost level 70. Everybody else is like level 50 and below. Which is going to start causing issues whenever we need more of the higher level stuff, you know? There. Three of them. I don't know why you need three of them. Okay, there you go. So that's all of our reputation quests is done. We don't have to turn them in, I don't think, but I do want to check to see what our reputation is at now. I think we're like a quarter of the way to level five, so we're almost high enough to where we could get uh, the NRE, which is going to be useful. Oh, we're actually further along than I thought. Yeah, see, we're... We're only... Yeah, we're really close. We're only about a hundred... Let's see, that would be, because it'd be just shy of two, yeah, 180. I was, like, trying to do the math in my head, and my brain wasn't wanting to calculate. And we're only 180 points away. That's, like, that's two bounties, so awesome. So then we'll finally be able to get the NRE, which will be extremely useful. We also got Battle Pass stuff for doing that, which is awesome. Cool, cool. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So that means we are free to do something else. Okay. So, we got a few things we could do. We could start Klee Story, which is really cute. Um, or we could do a little bit of grinding, or we could do one of these other quests over here. Possibly even increase our adventure rank, but I still kind of want to hold off on that until we do a little bit more Inazuma, just so it's not too difficult. Um, humana, humana, humana. You know what? Let's do Klee Story. It could be fun. Especially because I was thinking, I was just like, well, maybe I could do Klee's story in the next episode, but I really want to do Inazuma in the next episode, no matter what. So basically, even if we have other side quests or whatnot, in the next episode, we are doing Inazuma. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in. Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! There must be far more to it than that. Wow! Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, 
Is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Anyone vote for me? Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Hmm. Yeah, my life of leisure taking down a dragon, fighting a giant god of the ocean. You know, life of leisure, right? Enter the tavern. Oh, wow, lots of people to talk to. They're, this place is popping right now, ain't it? What'll it be today? Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine? Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone... It would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Okay, so his vote is for Deluc, technically. Okay, Six-Fingered Jose, what do you got? Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Um, actually, I'm just here to find out who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt? She's a little girly who wears red. A girl dressed in red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. I'll take you at your word for now. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel! So, so far we got Deluc and a little girl in red who destroys mountains. Okay, what do you got for me, Jack? Hey, I'm doing some adventurers training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Wanna join me? Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? You wanna know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley! Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Marjavari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Marjavari? 
sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Hmm, I'd beat it to a pulp. Yeah! Bam, wham, pow! Okay, so his vote is for someone I have no idea who it is. Okay, what about you, Bruce? Hi! <laughs> Are you here to oh, try you send a little off your rocker right now, buddy. Too? Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Uh... <laughs> The strongest fighter of them all? That would be Jean, obviously. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> and she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> right about one thing. Yeah, everyone has an opinion, and not just that, but some people's choice of can't hit was just plain weird. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says! Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing! What makes you so sure? Come on! Let's just go and ask already! We'll never find out if we don't! It's interesting what the drunk guy said though, that basically because Jean's so strong, the knights have nothing to worry about or to do, but that's also a little worrying because it's like, you still have a job to do, guys. Can't make Jean do everything. Poor Jean, that's probably why she's such a workaholic. Because the knights are just like, oh, if, you know, we could just kind of lay back because Jean will take care of everything. We don't have to worry about it. What's this? Oh, music disc. Booyah. Jean, do you have an official ranking of who's the strongest in all of Mondstadt? That is such a weird thing to ask. Hey, Jean. Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping he would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, Although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up that ranking table faster than he climbs up all those cliffs! Paimon, there is no ranking table. Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. I really like Jean. She's one of my favorite characters. I really hope we can actually pull for her. I mean, on a standard banner, of course, because if we're doing event banners, I want the event characters. But, ooh, cutscene. bumping into you. You dropped something. Hey, look! 
explosion inside city wall, grounded by the woe. Explosions can hurt people, Gene can be dreadful, Monstat be bombed, Clean be doomed. Okay, is that like some really creepy poem or something? There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall, grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people, Gene can be dreadful. Monstad be bombed, Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Kaya writes like this? to introduce myself. My name is Klee. Hello, Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a Big emergency! I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The... the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's... gone. Did you say buried treasure? A girl dressed in red. Hmm... And she has treasure! Seriously? Clay gets Six Finger Jose's bow for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go. Oh, Klee is just so adorable. Okay. So Klee's treasure is actually very easy to find. Like she said, she put a wooden sign in front of it, so there's a big hole in the ground and a wooden sign that says, Hey, treasure here! So it shouldn't be too difficult. But anyways, what I was saying was, I really hope we do get Jean at some point. I really, really like her, and she's a really great healer, and she actually hits really hard, too. <laughs> Klee. and Albedo seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big brother to help me. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. So yep, see, wooden sign, big hole in the ground. Huge empty hole in the ground. Wait, who's that over there? It's an abyss mage! Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. What's that in his hand? <gasps> My treasure! What? Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! After him. What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft, and fluffy. <laughs> I want a pet. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Careful, 
Uncle Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I... <laughs> Oh, great, more stuff. Order and we'll just bomb him. Boom. Hmm. But if we could just get him to get no, 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 get down. Oh dear, he's fast. Where'd he go? The Abyss Mage. He just disappeared. What's going on? Break on the rocks. Okay, maybe it's this one? Nope, I guess I do- I have to get a fire character. That sucks. I hate whenever they make you have to switch characters, but I understand why the whole game centers around having different elements and everything, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Here we go. A gateway to a domain! The Abyss Mage must have snuck inside! Then he has no way out. <sighs> Klee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No! I'm coming with you. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. Mm, I admire your courage. <laughs> Don't worry, Klee is a big girl. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight, let's go. Okay, I'm probably gonna grab Fischl again, though. It's funny, I've done domains with characters before and stuff like, you know, where we've chased an enemy into a domain or whatever, like we did with Amber. But for some reason, whenever we do it with Klee, it feels more like an adventure, like a fun little, like, you know, do-do-do-do-do. Then whenever you do it with the other characters and everything, I think it's just because of her personality. Okay, we don't need any specific elements. That's cool. Even if we did, though, they give us Klee. Yay! So Klee is a pretty fun character, but I don't like her playstyle. I really suck as her. She's a catalyst user and she throws bombs and everything, but for some reason I'm not very good at using her moveset. And I have no idea why. It's a very straightforward moveset. She basically just tosses bombs everywhere, but for some reason, I just really suck as her. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I've never really pulled for her before. La, la, la. Woo. I don't know if I'm just playing as her wrong or what. Time for takeoff. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Dumpty. Let me see. She's not bad. I mean, took out those guys pretty quick, and she'll be able to take these guys out really quick too. Just for some reason, I always sucked as her whenever I played as her, like, for any of the events or anything. Or whenever I've done, like, her character trials and whatnot. Solidify! Jumpy Dumpty. I mean, see, she hits really hard. It's just, she's kind of slow. But I do like, whenever um, I do the character stories, I do try to play mostly as the new characters. Otherwise, I'd be switching to mine because they probably do this a lot faster. I'm kind of surprised there's no chest in here. Yeah, huh. Wee! I love the way she runs. She's so adorable. Let's see, no treasure there. Is there treasure over here? Wee. Ooh, there probably Whee! is. Or not? Oh, there it is. I was like, there better be treasure. That was a secret wall. Yeah, you go, Klee. Yeah, see, if I had the money for it, I would pull for characters just based on if I like their design or not, because Klee is adorable. 
but I generally pick and choose characters based on how well I like playing as them. I mean, yeah, I do pick characters. If I like their design, I sometimes there'll be characters, like, um, I don't think there's any characters that I pulled for that I didn't really like playing as, but I love their design, but I don't think there is any characters that I actually pulled for that I really regret getting. Which is good, you know, because the only characters that I have specifically pulled for, just based solely on their design, was, um, I pulled for Yaimiko, which she ended up being really good anyways. I really like her a lot, and I use her a lot. So it wasn't a complete waste, but I mainly pulled for her just because she's a fox, and I love foxes, and she was so cool looking. I love her design. But I don't think there's any other characters, really, that I pulled for solely based on their design and not on their play style, you know? Which I think is a good rule of thumb to follow, because it's a really good way of preventing yourself from, like, overspending on the game or from getting characters that are kind of useless to you. Okay, let's use her big attack. Lots of explosions. Now, do these blow up whenever I hit them, or how do these blow up, I wonder? Like I said, I didn't really understand how to use Klee. Jumpy Dumpy. I used it way too early, dang it. Let's group them all up, maybe? Brace yourselves. Oh yeah, because most of the characters I have on my personal account, I mean, I pulled for Ganyu just because I liked her design, but I'm glad I pulled for her because she's really strong. You followed me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. But this is as far as you will get. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learn that your little red friend had in a position the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now, your precious treasure shall be your undoing! No, no! Wait! Don't touch it! <laughs> oh, how you fret now! Your predicament is finally clear to you! Now, what have we here? A flame symbol? <laughs> Survival rules! Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. <gasps> this is it. This time, I'm done for. <sighs> uh... Wait! So Klee's treasure is a bomb? That was epic. No wonder Glee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Paimon, for one, is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Something to do with the survival rules? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. <laughs> he blew himself up. I love that scene. That's hilarious. <sighs> This is why you don't mess with Klee, though. You'll end up blown up to bits. Okay, we can leave the domain. And now we gotta catch up to Klee. Man, she runs fast. Then again, she looked really upset. Wee. Drop. Klee. Where'd you go? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Klee? 
You're here too? I... I turned myself in. Huh? I... my... my bomb. I... I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Wait, there's been a misunderstanding. Why is that? The person that Klee blew up was an abyss mage. But, but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the abyss mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity? Wh what I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Because of Mondstadt's most powerful treasure? Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure! Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no! To try and get the facts on the treasure! Mm-hmm. So, does that mean...? In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! I'm so happy for you. Mr. Honorary Knight, you've got to come too. whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Uh-oh, Jean noticed it too. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Poor Klee. But I get it, Jean has to be tough on her, she's just a kid. Who has the power to blow up the half the city if she wanted to. <laughs> Hello. May the animal uh, solitary confinement? You. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Need help busting out of this joint? Ooh, ooh, yes, please! Wait, no, I... I can't. Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me! Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. You disguised a bomb as a Harpastum? Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this... Klee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Klee is an absolutely terrifying little kid. There we go, though, guys. Awesome story complete. Let's see, that also means we can now unlock Jean's story. We'll go ahead and unlock that. And then we technically can't do anyone else's until we get past Adventuring 35, but we've just been kind of sitting there. Ooh, better be careful now. I can't go and talk. I don't want to start the next one just yet. I think I want to... We did a character story. Let's see. We don't really have wishes, and there's no one I really want to wish for. I mean, I kind of want to pull for Albedo, just because he's really good, especially with Zhongli. Those two together would be a team to be, like... Ooh, they would be a really great team together. 
but I kind of think I want to hold off, especially because the, the next banner, I believe, is supposed to be Kusanali, which is the, uh, the Archon of, um, uh, Sumeru. And I really want to get her, because she's gonna be, she looks really fun to play as so far. At least what I've seen on, like, the, the beta stuff and whatnot. But anyways, uh, let's see. Do I want to rank up? I kind of don't want to, just because of the fact, like I said, I don't want to make things harder on myself. But at the same time, it gives really good rewards, and we're kind of getting held back by not being a higher adventure level, because we're only 35. Um, humana, humana, humana. Let's... You know what, maybe let's try this quest. Isn't this the one where I have to do the... Yeah, it's, I think it's for this one over here. So you know what? Let's try this one. This one could be kind of fun to get done out of the way, especially before we uh, rank up and everything. My stuff is still kind of low level. Okay, so we're supposed to ask the locals about the fragments. You know, this is the one for that cave that we found over that way. Um... Okay, so I'm supposed to ask the locals of Chingxi Village. Okay. Am I supposed to ask, like, you? Nope. Okay. I'm not sure where it's wanting me to go. I'm not even within the marker, really. Okay, is anyone gonna have, like, a marker above their head or something? Or... It's been a long time since I've done this quest, so I don't really <laughs> remember where I'm supposed to go for it. Huh. Okay, this is kind of weird because it's telling me to just ask the locals, but then there's really no one with like a marker above their head. Crumble. Okay, I didn't activate these while I'm here. Quake. Drop the rock. Ow. Oh, treasure chest. I thought it was gonna unlock like some sort of puzzle or something. That was easy. And all the Fish. More <laughs> okay, so where are these locals I'm supposed to be talking to? Okay, I think isn't there a guy over here maybe? Do you know anything? Now you're an herb gatherer. Do you sell herbs? Oh, no, she can read the fabric. Okay, cool. Wow. Oh. She said to go ask Granny about it. Well, pff, why didn't you say so? Well, I mean, she did just say so, but you know what I mean. Like, why didn't they just have me go talk to Granny? Because of the fact that we already know that the lady up here is the leader of the village. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Chinksy Village. I have this fragment. Fragment, uh, found something curious, have you? Let me see. No wonder you can't make head or tail of it. This isn't writing on here. It's a drawing. Long, long ago, before writing was invented, people recorded events with pictures. Look, this symbol here depicts the chi, a legendary beast. It looks like the full symbol must have been very large or complex. This is only part of it, but it's enough for me to recognize it by. My guess is that, the, it, my guess is that this depicts the battle between the geo lord and the chi, but it's hard to be more specific just from this, from just this one piece. If you had all the pieces, could you make sense of it? Oh, I don't know about that. No guarantee. But what I can guarantee is that without all the pieces, I certainly can't make sense of it. Watch me, I'll find the rest in no time. <laughs> so much enthusiasm. I like that about young people. Given what this fragment is showing, I'd say that if you really want to find the other fragments, here's what you should do. According to the legend of the Geolord and the Chi, the battle took place at a great height, so you could try your luck on the mountaintops around here. Beyond that, there are many traces of the battle in this area. Runes would be a sensible place to look. In every conflict, there is a losing side. Legend tells that after defeating the Chi, the Geo Lord instructed our forebears to erect Geo statues to crush the Chi's remaining power. I'd guess you would have a higher chance of finding things to do with the Chi in places with lots of Geo statues. For example, there are many Geo statues erected west of Qingxi Village. It's said that, that that's the very spot where the Geo Lord crushed the Chi. Maybe you'll struck, strike lucky over that way. Once you've found all the fragments, bring them to me. I'll be waiting right here. Okie dokie. So, I kind of somewhat remember where all the fragments are. I believe we already did the one that was up there, I think. Okay, there should be one out here, which is the one west of the village. See, it's right over there in, like, a, I think it's a graveyard? Or at least it looks kind of like a graveyard. 
Ooh, treasure. Pick it up. One man's stone is another man's gem. <laughs> I wonder if they adjusted how often they talk, because it seems like Zhang is not talking as much as he used to. Which is good, because it's getting a little annoying. He would not shut up. Okay, there should be one here. Rex Lapis overcame the chi, but the chi could not perish in its entirety. Thus did Rex Lapis con conquer each of its facets in turn. Its spirit was bound in the north. Its bones were pinned in the southeast. Its flesh was incarcerated in the northwest. And the soul fed. Okay. So we need to do north, southeast, northwest, northeast, southwest. Okay, so it's going to be north, south, east, northwest, northeast, southwest. Okay, I think I remember it. So it's north, then it was southeast, right? Yeah. No, wait, yeah. Yeah, southeast, northwest, so southeast, no, that's west. Southeast, and then it was northwest, northeast. Northwest, northeast, southwest. There we go. Certainly worth the extra mile. Okay, so that one's done. How many of these fragments do we have now? Oop, did not mean to open that. I meant to open this. Um. Okay, I've got two of the three three fragments okay so I believe the last one because we did the one up there commodities back and forth. okay I believe the last one is located I think it's over here I think um yeah I think it's it's where, yeah, see, I see it. It's where you see lots of these little statue guys. I wonder if those guys are the chi that they were talking about. Yes, yeah, so we need to activate these guys. I do not want to activate that guy, I don't think. I don't know how many of these statues there are, though. I think there's either three or four. There's one up here, right? Yeah. They're where we see all the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, it's not amber, is it, is it amber? I can't remember what this stuff is called. Oh, they all died. <laughs> I was like, I was ready for a fight. Yeah, where you see all the big glowing bits of, uh, it's not core lapis, is it? Is it core lapis? That might be what it is. No, it might actually be amber shards. I can't remember anymore. Basically, it's the big glowing orange rocks. That's the easiest way to remember it. Oh, hello. Solidify. And goodbye. Uh, that was weird. Razor just, like, stopped moving. I was, like, pushing the buttons, and he wasn't doing anything. I've been having some issues with that, with, like, characters locking up. Okay, great. I'm gonna... Hopefully you don't activate. I'm gonna try very hard not to activate you. Because I just don't feel like a fight. Empty chest. There we go, all the fragments. Um, and we need to run them back by Granny, I think. Yeah. Cool, cool. This is going pretty well. Okay, Granny, here's all the fragments. Hello, Traveler, welcome. Oh, she's just doing normal dialogue. I have the fragments. Let's see now why these fragments all fit together. See here, this is the symbol for a Chi, and this Chi was defeated in a major battle. Afterward, it was pinned down in a deep place. What's a chi? In the legends, the chi was a dragon-like monster, and Mount Qingxi was its slayer. When Rex Lapis, or Morax, defeated it, the chi's body twisted into rock, its blood turned into water, and its- Oh, I didn't realize autoplay was on. Okay. Do you see those sturdy trees near Qingxi village? Those are blood-fed trees, said to have been nourished by the blood of the chi. But a legend is a legend. After all, who would be able to find traces of the chi today? What happened after that? After that, in order to seal the corpse of the Chi and prevent it from endangering the world again, water was used to seal its corpse, and treasures were used to pin it in the center of the vault. Hmm, the rest of it's illegible. 
Does this cheese does the cheese corpse still exist? I'm afraid that other than Rex Lapis, no one else knows the answer to that question. So, young one, do you think that the things recorded on these three fragments are true? Well, it's not a bad thing for a young person to bumble around a bit. But if you really want to pursue your search according to the content of these fragments, then I see the place you're looking for must have something to do with water. Not only that, but it also must be water whose entrance can be blocked. Is it a waterfall? Let me think. Come to think of it, there is a sizable waterfall northwest of Qingxi Village. I wonder if it's something to do with that vault. Well, that's all I know. As for the rest, you'll have to mull it over yourself. Yeah, we kind of already knew where it was, I thought, because that's kind of how we started this quest, I thought. Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember now. Um, is there a teleport point over by that? Oh, there is. Sweet, this one. Because I was like, this is a long way to travel. Whee! Oop, that wasn't much of a jump. I really should be killing birdies more to get the, the fowl and everything so we don't run into that issue again of running out, but I really don't want to have to kill them all. There we go. We Big bad guys up there, but there is a nice chest up there. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab it while we're here. Ooh, bad guy there too. Huh. There's no end to this. Um, you okay, dude? <laughs> that was weird. He, like, got his head stuck in the pole. Sent him flying. There we go. Chest. Grab all the stuff they dropped. Treasure. Strange. And there it is. So we should be able to get in here now, right? Oh, that's cool. The stone gates are tightly shut and there are three strange grooves on its surface. Perhaps they're the key to opening the gate. One, two, three. And open. Awesome. Whoa. This, I forgot how cool this place was. Is that the cheese corpse? Is that what they're saying? Okay. Another test subject. Hi, guys. It's not ready for y'all. Take him out. Let's play. Did they like follow me in here or something? Or were they like they couldn't have already been in here because the gate was locked. They must have followed me in. Okay, so now we can activate this thing. Whoa, that was Oh, defeat five monsters, and we can't let that thing be destroyed. Order guide you. Whoa, and they do a lot of damage to it in a very short amount of time. By royal decree. Okay, great. More are gonna spawn in, right? Yep. Solidify. Oh great, come on guys, group together. Group up together. No no no, stop shooting. Don't shoot stuff. Come on, guys, group together, group together. I need. Oh, gosh, there's three of them. No, stop shooting it. Okay, at least got two of them grouped together. Come on, let me over there. Quickly, before he shoots stuff. Okay, where's this last one? Oh, it's one of these big bad ones. See, this is why I did this one at such a low level, because it's like way too many enemies to fight. If they're much higher level than you, it makes this like a really difficult fight. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. It's like he disappeared. There we go. 
So that's it? Oh, but what about our monster corpse and our treasure? Surely a place this big can't be completely empty, and think of all the effort we've put into this. Hmm, should we give it another once-over just to be sure? Yeah, because it looks like something over there opened up. Look at all these statues everywhere. So technically these are the chi, right? That's what they were saying or something like that? Yep, and over there is the last chi oculus, which we didn't technically need because we got all the other ones, but still. Look at all the treasure chests down here, too. Uh, no, I switched to venti, so I can do this. Aha! Ooh, some good artifacts, hopefully. Oh, at least some purple artifacts, anyways. I don't know if a martial artist set is actually any good for me or not. Lots of stuff, though. Love it. Lots of treasure. Okay, Seely, let's go. Let's play. Yeah, Venti. Gliding be faster? Venti, I was gliding, so shut up. <laughs> I like literally touched down just for a split second. Patient much? <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Sweet, Barbados. that was a lot of treasure down here. Okay, so now we're supposed to return <laughs> to Granny and tell her what we found. Granny, I'm back, and I found the treasure. You're back, so did you find anything? We found a whole bunch of treasure hoarders outside. Treasure hoarders? Did you chase them off? Those low-down, no-good crooks always skulking about. They're so annoying. It's high time someone taught them a lesson. And there was nothing inside? <laughs> no matter, no matter at all. There's nothing wrong with a bit of extra running around while you're young enough to handle it. Here, these are for you. You've been out in a battle day. Go buy something nice to eat and rest your legs a bit. So there was nothing inside. That's good. That's good. I thought I found stuff inside. Really? Was there nothing inside? Yeah. I thought what I found was considered something. I mean, I found a whole room full of treasure chests. Yeah, they didn't have anything that amazing, but I would still consider it something. A little rude, Granny, that you say I found nothing. Okie dokie. So that's cool. We got that quest done. Oh, still so much left to do, you know? But like I said, these aren't like super necessary to finish and whatnot. And we did get, um, we did get Klee's quest done, which is awesome. We got Klee's story done, so at least some of these stories are done. We've got so much more to do. Oh gosh. We might have to do that in another special episode though, like collect some stuff. Like I said, I have been considering live streaming this game and everything. I've been wanting to get into live streaming possibly, and I thought this game would be a fun one to do because there's so much like just side stuff that I have to do that I don't really want to cover in episodes because I want to try to keep the let's play, like keep that forward momentum kind of thing, you know, story-wise going. So I thought live streaming would be good to do a lot more of the side stuff that's a little less important but still useful. But I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end this special 100th episode. We did some fun stuff. We got, or we did dailies. We did some, we did bounties for the first time, and we also did the reputation quests and everything. I always like to end out of Mondstadt. Um, we oh, also. It's you over here, over what? here. I don't want to talk to you. Seriously, you gave me another quest. What is this one for? I guess I gotta talk to her to get the quest. Or no, oh, it's the quest for. Oh, that's weird. I'm supposed to talk to Sarah to get Jean's quest. That's weird, but okay. Did not mean to start that, but oh well. But anyway, so we did a reputation quest. We also did Klee's story quest, which was fun. We also did the, the quest for the, um, the Chi treasure thing and everything, so we got that out of the way. So we got quite a bit done. Not as much as I was hoping for, though. Just sometimes the quests in this game take forever, mainly the character story quest. But we did a full story quest, which usually takes us like two or three episodes, so that was good to get that out of the way. And now we can do like Jean's story quest, and then after we do Jean's, we need to do the um, level up, which we'll probably be able to level up soon because we are doing pretty good. Not like fantastic though, my characters do need some better equipment still, but that's all stuff I gotta work on. Like I said, I am considering live streaming, so if you guys would be interested in me live streaming all this stuff, let me know. Or if you'd rather I just do it completely all off camera, let me know that too. 
But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end our 100th episode off here. So kind of not what I had planned originally for this super special episode, because like I said, I wanted to do a bunch of the events for the special episode, but it just didn't plan out that way. But I still had a lot of fun, and it was a good time. It got a lot of time to just talk to you guys nonstop and everything, which was a lot of fun. Like I said, that's one of the reasons I went to live stream, because I want to interact with you guys more, because I have a lot of fun talking to you guys. Come on, traveler. But anyways, I'm kind of just rambling at this point. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!